close your eyes. Take a cup of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the sensation of breathing in the body. Focus your attention there and see if you can keep it there. This is going to require mindfulness. In other words, the ability to remember what you're doing. Alertness to watch what you actually are doing. And then ardency, the desire to do this well. You want to stay with the breath continually. If the mind wanders off, you just bring it right back. Wind yourself again, you bring it back again. When you're with the breath, try to make the breath as comfortable as possible. You can ask yourself, would long breathing feel good or short breathing? Fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. There are lots of different ways you can breathe right now. You can find a sense of ease with any particular kind of breath and stick with that breath. This is a useful skill to have. No matter how much they force us to do things in society, you're free to find happiness inside. In fact, that's what the Buddha's teachings are all about. Everything he teaches is voluntary. He never forced anything on anyone. But he said the good things in life are voluntary. When you're generous, it's because you want to be generous. When you observe the precepts, that's your choice to take them on. They're not commandments. Meditation is not forced on you. You're sitting here with your eyes closed. You can be thinking about anything you want. There are no thought police that are going to grade you down for not focusing on the breath. But if you've decided that this is what you want to do, you want to develop concentration, okay, give it a try. And always keep that attitude in mind, that you're doing this because it's voluntary. As with generosity. When the Buddha is talking about the the value of generosity, it's mainly with acts that are voluntary, the ones that you choose to do. When a king came to the Buddha one time and asked him, where should a gift be given, the Buddha said, where you feel inspired. In other words, it's up to you to decide that you want to be generous. And that's your ex first experience of free will. Now You could keep the thing and use it yourself, or you could give it away. And you decide, rather than giving in to your own greed, you can give it to somebody else and let them find some pleasure out of it. And that way you take, learn how to take pleasure out of other people's happiness, which is a good attitude to learn. But this works only if it's voluntary. And generosity, of course, doesn't mean necessarily things. You can be generous with your time, generous with your energy, like today as you help with the setup for the Katin. You're free to decide how much you want to help. And we're happy to receive your help if it's voluntary. The more everybody pitches in and help, the lighter the work is going to be for everybody else. But no one's being forced. And that way you can take pleasure in the fact that you've chosen to do something good. The same with the precepts. You take joy in the fact that you choose to be harmless. And especially with meditation, you take joy in the fact that you've chosen to get your mind under control. This way you find happiness in a way that doesn't harm anybody at all. It comes entirely from within. And when people look for happiness inside, that means their happiness doesn't have to conflict with anyone else's true happiness, which is how we can live together in the world. So these three activities that the Buddha said are meritorious, generosity, virtue, and meditation, are good all around. They're good for you, they're good for the people around you. They're freely chosen. Nobody's paying you to do them. Nobody's forcing you to do them. And you have the joy of realizing that you have that intention inside that you want to do some good in the world. So I know how to take pleasure in that, that fact, because that's going to be a lot of the, your sustenance as you go in the path, the fact that you've chosen it yourself. You choose to stick with it on your own free will. And you get a little taste, at least, of what real freedom can be. It's not just following your whims, it's setting up a determination, being free from the parts of the mind that would hold you down. <laughs>